Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining. I am excited to have Poll Everywhere today to demonstrate their integration with Microsoft Teams. My name is Bill Spencer, Senior Director for Teams Engineering, and I am joined by Chase King from Poll Everywhere. Take it away, Chase. Hi everyone, thank you all so much for having me. Um, I'm really excited to be here today to talk about the Microsoft Teams integration with Pull Everywhere. Um, I first want to start by introducing myself. So my name is Chase King. I am a customer success team lead here at Pull Everywhere. Um, and I'm currently the customer success manager for, for our seven Microsoft Enterprise accounts that you see listed here. Uh, so let's start by talking about the agenda for today. So I want to start by doing a live demo, which is going to be about 15 minutes. Then I'm going to move forward and talk about some frequently asked questions for about five minutes. And then I want to save uh, 10 minutes towards the end for some Q&A where you can ask me questions about the integration and about Pull Everywhere. So before we get started, I wanted to give you some clear steps on how you can join my presentation. Um, the first thing you want to do, um, step one, is you want to click on this link that you see here where it says pull everywhere. Um, and then once you click on this link, you should see this screen here on your right hand side, which says welcome to Chase's presentation. Uh, so here you should be able to enter your name. You can add your first name and your last name or just your first name, whatever you prefer. And then once you've entered your name, you want to go ahead and click on this blue continue button. And then once you click on continue, you should see a pinned Q&A activity here on the right hand side. Um, so here is where you can um, type in any questions that you have throughout the presentation. And as I mentioned, I'm going to save about 10 minutes towards the end to answer any questions that you have about the uh, integration. I'm going to go ahead and move forward here. Um, if you have any trouble uh, joining my presentation, uh, please let me know. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started with our very first poll. So the first question I have for you all is where are you located? Um, so if you look on my presentation page, you should be able to click your location on this map to indicate where you're located. All right, so we have some people in the Pacific Northwest in Washington. It looks like we have someone here in Texas. I believe that this is Chicago. Where else are you all located? Go ahead and click on the map here so that we can see where your location is. Anyone else want to respond in terms of where they're located on the map here? Right. All right, so let's go ahead and move forward here. Um, and let's let's activate our next poll. So describe what you like about the Microsoft company culture in one word. So this is one of our word cloud activities, and this is a really great way to do an icebreaker um, at the start of a meeting. It's a great way to take a pulse on the audience to see how they're feeling. Um, so we have a couple of adjectives here. So we have collaborative, we have amazing, we have inclusive, great cafeterias, wonderful. All right, innovative. Excellent. What else, what else do you like about the company culture? Collaborative. And you all noticed that when you re, when you repeated that response, it made that word bigger. So it's a great way to kind of see how people are thinking and feeling. Um, and a very quick response here. So the main buzzword that we have here is that people love that Microsoft's company culture is collaborative. Excellent. 
All right, so let's move forward here. And the next question I have for you is what Microsoft product do you use most often in your role? Is it Word, PowerPoint, Excel, or Outlook? Right, so we have PowerPoint is very popular. What other Microsoft products do you use? Excel. Okay. All right, we have Outlook. So we have a tie between PowerPoint, Excel, and Outlook. Any other products you use most often in your role? All right, so we have a tie between Word, PowerPoint, and Outlook. Excellent. All right, so let's move on here to the final question. Why did you choose to work for Microsoft? So here's an open-ended question that we have here at Pull Everywhere, and this is an ability for you to write an open-ended response that will be displayed here to the audience. So why did you choose to work for Microsoft? What inspired you to work for this company? So let's take a minute and jot down some responses. All right, so we have amazing career opportunities. Wonderful. What are, what are some other reasons for why you chose to work for Microsoft? Okay, incredible reach and impact. Wonderful. I wanted to work on software that's used worldwide. Excellent, so you wanted to work for an international company. What are some other reasons why you chose to work for Microsoft? What inspired you? Anyone else want to join here? Right. So yeah. And we have, okay, we have a fourth response here, inspirational leadership. Okay, so here are some examples of ways that you can engage the audience with Pull Everywhere. You know, you can ask, you know, a clickable image activity to figure out where people are located in the world. Um, we also took a look at our word cloud activity, which is a great way to take a pulse on your audience and how they're thinking and feeling. And then here we have an open ended question where people can share their responses um, and their thoughts and feelings about why they chose to work for, for Microsoft. All right. So I want to move forward here and talk a little bit about um, some frequently asked questions. So the first question you're probably wondering is how do you download the application? So what I've done here is I've included some links to our PowerPoint for Windows integration, uh, which is on our website. So I will be sharing this slide deck um, so that you're able to click these links and download these applications directly on your computer. We also have our link to our Microsoft Teams integration. And I added a quick note here that our updated application will be available on Monday, January 23rd, uh, pending um, approval from Microsoft. Um, so right now, currently, if you were to click this link, um, you wouldn't be able to download our Microsoft Teams integration. Um, but as of Monday, January 23rd, you will be able to download our updated um, integration. Some other frequently asked questions I wanted to mention. So what is required to present Pull Everywhere in Microsoft Teams? Uh, so number one, you need to have a Pull Everywhere presenter account and you need to be logged in while you're presenting um, Pull Everywhere via Teams. You also need to have organizer, co-organizer, or presenter role within the Teams meeting to present activities. Um, you only need attendee access in order to respond to activities. 
And the third and final thing is that you need to add the app to the meeting. Um, so that way you're able to um, present polls and allow your attendees to respond. Uh, second question, do you have an integration with PowerPoint Live and MS Teams? Um, so currently we don't have an integration with PowerPoint Live. Uh, we only support the desktop version of PowerPoint, which is what I'm using currently. And the third question we have here is, can more than one presenter present activities in the same MS Teams meeting? Um, so right now we currently do not support multiple um, Pull Everywhere presenters in the MS Team meeting yet. Um, so only one presenter can present within the MS Teams meeting. Uh, so the next question here is, what is the benefit of using Pull Everywhere via Teams instead of the browser? So there's three primary benefits here. Number one, participants are automatically shown your response page without you having to type a link or scan a QR code. As you all saw, as soon as you entered the Teams meeting, my response page was immediately displayed to you. Uh, second, um, both the presenter and the participants never have to leave the MS Teams interface when they're engaging with Pull Everywhere. Um, everything can be done within the Teams meeting. You never have to open up the browser. And lastly here, um, one of the main benefits is that you can leverage the capabilities of two Microsoft integrations simultaneously. So as I mentioned, I'm using the desktop version of PowerPoint to present the slides. And then of course, we're also using um, the MS Teams integration where you're able to respond to the polls. Uh, final two questions here. Uh, where should I go if I have general questions about Pull Everywhere? Um, so I added a link here to our support center, which is our knowledge base, which is our most comprehensive um, link that provides uh, responses to commonly asked questions and provides resources. Um, and then last here, if I have specific questions about MS Teams, how can I contact you? Uh, so you can contact me directly at chase at pulleverywhere.com. So with that, I wanted to go ahead and create a, a space for your questions. What questions have been added so far? So we have one question, how great it is that we have such a cool integration. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a rhetorical question. Glad to hear that. <laughs> I, I have another question from uh, the Event Builder platform, Chase. Thank you. This is excellent. I really am excited to see this integration. Question about pricing. How How is Poll Everywhere priced? Yeah, that's actually uh, that's actually a great question. So from an, an enterprise uh, perspective, um, so we sell um, packages um, based on the number of presenters that you want to give access to. Um, so we have a variety of different buckets, um, 25 presenters, 50 presenters, 100 presenters. Um, so what you would do is you would work uh, directly with one of our account executives and they will uh, design a package that makes the most sense based on your needs. Uh, I will mention that uh, most of our uh, existing enterprise accounts have a package of 25 presenters, um, but we are, you know, we're more than open to working with you based on the need that you have for your specific department. Excellent. So based on that, my sense is, is very popular for training. But I see this as something, I mean, I'd like to use this in my meetings to make them more interactive and effective. Absolutely. Yeah, I think that that, I would say, is one of the primary use cases that we see at Microsoft. I know that a lot of our existing enterprise accounts are, are using it for engagement in their team meetings. Uh, they're also using it for large events in order to engage large audiences and, and collect feedback um, from folks about their experiences, about their opinions. It's just a really great way to be inclusive, especially when you have um, you know, hundreds of users or hundreds of people in your audience participating in, an, in a large event. Yeah. Tell me about language support. So currently, we, we only support English for right now but like in terms of like if you want to ask a question or respond in in any language like we support unicode so 
basically any language should work and also emoji too. Excellent. And you have plans for FedRAMP support and are you used by any state and local governments in the United States? I personally don't know what our current status is. I know it's something that we investigate. Uh, we, we just have to ask our compliance person. I, I don't know offhand. The integration you've shown today is excellent. Could you just repeat the timing on when the features you've shown will be available for everyone to use? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we estimate the updated Teams application to be available on the Microsoft Store on Monday, January 23rd. Oh. Okay, so that's okay. when we anticipate it being next available. Week. So very soon. So next okay. week. Excellent. We're, we're currently in the process of submitting it right now. So it's just a matter of how long it takes to get through and get approved. Yeah, that's great. So we can go to the Microsoft Store next week and download and install this app and start using it. Is there a free trial and then it goes into a paid mode? Yeah, that's a great question. So. So as far as downloading the application next week, um, so if you're not currently a part of an enterprise account, um, we would need to work with you to establish that enterprise account and contract first with the account executive. And then once we establish that enterprise account, then our team's integration is actually included as part of that enterprise package. So there's no additional uh, cost to use the integration. You're just um, paying just for the number of seats um, on the enterprise account. Excellent. Number of presenter seats. Exactly. Yeah, that's the yeah. only thing that we're we're charging you for. All of our integrations are, in, are inclusive of that contract. Excellent. What is the best uh, email address or website for people to follow up in order to establish that account relationship? Yeah, so I think the, the best person to to reach out to would be reach out to me directly. Excellent. Um, and if I'm not the right person, then I will redirect them to the correct person at Pull Everywhere. Um, so Great. yeah, so please feel free to just use this email address as kind of a central place to contact. And, yeah. and I will, like I said, make sure that you're connected with the right individual at Pull Everywhere. Excellent. Chase at PullEverywhere.com. Uh, poll everywhere being one word. Well, thank you so much, Chase, Teo, Drew, uh, everyone from the Poll Everywhere team. Uh, great integration. I'm really excited about this. And uh, I want to uh, also thank uh, everyone who's able to join us today, particularly Chase. Thank you for presenting. We really appreciate the innovation that you've shown here. Well, thank you all. Wrapping no, thank up. Thank you. Say thank you so much for your time. It's been a pleasure. I'm really glad that you're excited about the integration and I look forward to working with each and every one of you. Excellent. Thank you very much.